Hey guys, welcome to Mike's Bass Fishing. I'm here in the garage with my son Ryu. Today we're gonna be going over the six sack for the month of April. So without further ado, let's get into this. See what we got first bait, and then we're gonna get, I'm gonna talk about it for a little bit, then we'll uh, get Ryu's inputs on the bait. So first out of the bag, we have a flat finesse F4. Nice orange, red, black colored. Dives about four to six foot, half ounce. So, Ryu, what do you think of this one? I don't really know. I think it's going to be good in the water. It looks like um, it's going to be like, it kind of looks like there's blood on the top for like fish. Yeah, so it looks like a wounded bait fish, yeah. right? Good. All right, let's see what else we got. Another hard bait. It's the Cloud 9 C6. And that nice black magic color. I have yet to really fish with one of these, but it looks really nice. Dives four to eight foot, half ounce crankbait again. What do you think? I don't really know. Or to you, what's it look like? Like something that you can use at night though, that is really good at night though. Night, and low also, light, yeah. dirty, murky water type deal. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I get out of it. Yeah, me too. All right. Next one. We have a Crush 100 Series X. That nice bluegill pattern. This one, 5 8 ounce. Shallow diving crankbait, but a bigger size crankbait. That 2 to 5 foot. What are you thinking? I think it's going to be good in the water since it kind of looks like a uh, how do you call it? bluegill. Bluegill, because uh, I see a lot of bass eat bluegill. Yeah, that's definitely right. The bass do love where we live. Our bass really do like the bluegill. So that's their main source of food. So these work out really well for us. Well, let's keep going. See what else we got to dive in here with. All right, next one is a half ounce swim jig. It's the Axle. I am a huge fan of six cent swim jigs. I catch a lot of bass using their swim jigs. So I'm interested to get this on there and see what I can catch with it. Now it is a bigger size, a half ounce with a six hot hook. So what do you think? I think it's kind of like a, this one, a little bit like a daddy water. And I really think that the, that the, I don't really know. I forgot. You forgot? <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah. Like I said, I've caught a lot of bass on their swim jigs. I really like six, six senses. Really swim like jigs. Oh, let's see what else we got in here. Some terminal tackle, little peg stoppers. I do use these a lot. Um, what else? Oh. And the Divine Shaky Worm. This is a 6.3 inch. Oh, it's watermelon red color. I really haven't used a lot of their worms. I do plan on using that some more this summer to get a little bit better. What do you think of the worm? I think it kind of looks like um, that one that I used to use when I had um, a spinning wheel so and i hope that will look good like that the other one that was on my spinning wheel yeah because it you see it's like a little watermelon yeah. red mm -hmm. um stick worm for a wacky rig all 
All right, last but not least, ooh, we have a five inch trace fast sink. What looks to be, get it out of the box here. feel more dumb trying to get a bait out of the box. Because usually these traces come out of here pretty good or pretty quick. Now give me a screwdriver real quick. Pry this out of this box. Yeah, just a flat tip screwdriver, honey. That's a Phillips. Tools and their uses. Yeah, it's a flat tip. There we go. Finally pop her out. Phone. A really nice like ghost body with that green black accents and the kind of sparkle in the tail. That looks really nice. I do want to try throwing that. What do you think about it? I think it kind of also kind of looks like a real girl with like a stomach that you can like see through. Mm. And like sparkles in the back tail. I think it will look good. Yeah, can't wait to definitely th throw that on the uh, swim or our. You, boy, I can't even talk. Definitely throw it on the extra heavy rod and see what I can play with. Cause I've been wanting to get into the swim baits a little bit better, but we'll see how that plays out for us. I have been subscribed to the Six Sack now for going on like two years and it's what helped got me my collection behind me on the wall as well as like a whole bunch of baits that I have in the kayak, uh, my backpack for bank fishing. It really it helps you get out of that comfort zone so that you try other baits like that you not necessarily like you for you you wouldn't think of buying it because you're not comfortable with it. It kind of helps you get that bait in your hand and go try it. Like it's the only way to get better with any other bait that you want to uh, catch fish on is you got to try it. Oh, any closing arguments from you? No. No, nothing? Nothing no. to add? <laughs> Alright, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, we're going to be doing a lot more fishing stuff on this channel. And let me know if you like this type of video, uh, if it's something we should continue doing or keep going in another direction. See you in the next one.